A little bit more restrained than for the opener, but uh, they're going to be sent on their way. They're off and racing for the Vincent O'Brien County Handicap Hurdle. Short run to the first. Ellerslie, Tom, Hunter View and Ski Sunday are the first three to rise over it. Soldatino landed a little bit back on his heels. Alarazzi early on is just about last with Gloucester as they make their way at a strong pace, being forced by Ellerslie, Tom and Hunter View towards the second. Ski Sunday from Notus de la Tour, Premier Dane on the outside with Cockney Trucker, D.E. Williams and Salden Lick. Delay Van on the outside of the white face of nearby on this long run towards the second. Ciceron is racing in midfield just ahead of Zanier and towards the inside, the second colours of J.P. McManus with Belvano. Uh, then behind these is Praxiteles, ahead of the red headgear of Grey Soldier, who's on the inside of Inventor and Get Me Out of Here. Secret Dancer Alaraz is towards the stand side as the leaders are already at flight number two. A big leap by Hunter View and the field all make their way over it. Salden Licht made a mistake towards the outside when in midfield. So Hunter View it is who leads on the turn away from the stands from Ellerslie Tom in second place. Ski Sunday ahead of Premier Dane and D.E. Williams in the pale jacket. Cockney Trucker comes next just ahead of Notus de Latour with Alevan and Salden Licht the next pair. Belvano towards the inside with Praxiteles and then get me out of here. Soldatino in midfield ahead of Grey Soldier. Alarazzi towards the rear of the field early on. Dirar is charting a wide course. Uh, Takari, by contrast, is more towards the inside as the leaders reach flight number three. Hunter View and Ellerslie Tom are over. A couple of mistakes. Zania was one and Grey Soldier towards the inside was the other and his was slightly more serious as a shortish run before they meet flight number four. Hunter View with Ellerslie Tom, Premier Dane and Ski Sunday are the first quartet over it from D.E. Williams. Another mistake by Grey Soldier who balked Takari in the process. Black Stair Mountain is quite well back at this stage. Inventors lost a lot of ground as quickly they're on towards flight number five, which Cockney Trucker made a slight mistake and he's ridden along towards the inside. So still well bunched, they climb towards the third last, but still a long way to go. Hunter View and Ellerslie Tom from in third place, Ski Sunday. Premier Dane from D.E. Williams. A lay van going very strongly on the inside of Salden Licht. Cockney Trucker and Notice de Latour from Ciceron. Soldatino making ground towards the outside of the field at this stage. Dirar still well back as Hunter View leads them over the third last. Inventor is being pushed along towards the rear final approach is another but by and large they're pretty well grouped as they now only have two flights to take but still quite a bit of distance of ground to cover as Hunter View and Ellerslie Tom lead D.E. Williams. Premier Dane is in fourth ahead of Ski Sunday. Alay Vans travelled powerfully throughout racing on the outside of Cockney Trucker. Notice de Latour being pushed along. Salden licked Ciceron going well. Alarazi round the outside is making ground from Zania towards the inside is Belvano. A Black Stair Mountain still well back through them. Dirar despite being being well backs going okay. Jockey pulling down the goggles, blue and yellow towards the outside in the noseband. Hunter View still leads the field. They're just about to complete the long run to the second last and an awful lot of chances. Ski Sunday towards the inside. Then Cockney Trucker, a lay van who's caught the eye throughout, has got their tanking along as they make the turn towards the last. And it's a lay van from Hunter View and Ski Sunday. Cockney Trucker comes next, ridden along Salden Licht. Soldatino picking up, get me out of here towards the inside. Hunter View and Ski Sunday still pressed by Alay Van, Cockney Trucker towards the inside, then the driven along Salden Licht on the far side, get me out of here Dira still with a lot of work to do staying on Soldatino, nearby is another who's coming from well back and Black Stair Mountain, five across the course, Ski Sunday, Cockney Trucker get me out of here, Hunter View and Alay Van nearby, continues to stay on, also final approach towards the outside, get me out of here, briefly in front from Cockney Trucker, final approach has come from a long way back it's get me out of here with final approach bearing down at him, A.P. McCoy and Ruby Walsh at the line, very close between get me out of here and final approach for the county. Nearby was third, tight for fourth, Cockney Trucker, Salden licked, Alevan didn't get home, and behind these, Dira. Get me out of here, so narrowly denied in the supreme novices behind Menorah last year. Has he had to settle for second best today? Or has Walsh? Delivered Ireland a record-breaking 11th festival success. The tightest finish of the 2011 Cheltenham Festival between its two most prominent riders. A fabulous race. Around 20 in with a chance, two out. Around 10 in with a chance at the last. You could cover the first nine with a blanket. And the first two are almost inseparable. Has JP McManus finally got his name on the festival scoreboard. And here is the result of the
No, because final approach and Ireland have ironically denied him. Final approach gives Ireland their record-breaking 11th festival success. Ruby Walsh, his fifth winner of the week following his hat-trick on Tuesday in Big Bucks yesterday, is his lead in the Thomas Pink Jockey's title unassailable. You fancy it might be. Last gasp win for this hugely likeable, admirable son of Pivotal, having just his fifth start over hurdles. What a performance, what an effort in the saddle. Walsh and McCoy had it between them. Walsh came out on top. Five up on the week, Ruby. Congratulations. Yeah, great week, thank God. I was quite lucky there. He made an unbelievable mistake at the first. Crashed straight through the top bar, and I don't know how he stood up, to be honest with you. And it got me into a position I didn't want to be in then. And there was a lot of traffic down the back, but uh, I got a good run off the bend, and he's really back from there. Got feeling as you hit the line. Do you think you got up? Didn't have time to look. <laughs> well done. Willie Mullins with me on what has turned out to be some week for Ireland 11 on the board now. Many congratulations, Willie. Well, Lorna was right this morning, wasn't she? She, she, gra she grabbed me for an interview. She, said she did. Everyone she did. that we did in the morning time uh, had a winner, so... The luck's still holding. Probably have to thank Lorna for this, then. <laughs> well, um, she's had quite a week herself, hasn't she? Yeah, exactly, <laughs> yes. Fantastic ride yesterday. Um, no, we were just uh, thrilled. I thought we were beaten in the photo finish. I couldn't believe it. I watched yeah. the rerun. I still thought we were beaten. And watching... Tony and Ruby pull up. I thought Tony looked happy and Ruby looked grumpy. I said, right, <laughs> definitely beaten. And uh, so, a huge surprise. They're the, be the best ones, I think, you know, the, the unexpected ones probably. Speaking to Ruby a few moments ago, he said the game was almost up as early as the first fly because he, he made yeah. a terrible mistake and almost put him out. I, I think he said the horse came down underneath the top bar. He said it must have just broken very easy because he's not a big horse, he's only a small horse. And we were probably very lucky. There's quite some achievement there, because it's hard enough to win one competitive handicap hurdle a season, but on the back of the MCR hurdle to come and win this as well is a real testament to your skill and to the, to the credit to the horse as well. Uh, yes, I mean, the horse is just improving all the time. Um, he's come out of Kevin Pendergast, and I think he's just such a professional handicapper. He learned so much flat racing, and I think that's uh, probably the key to winning here, that under MCR, with so little experience, he's just a real professional racehorse, and when push came to shove, he knew, he knew what to do. 12 months is a long way away, but realistically, could you come and see him maybe having a go at Hurricane Fly next year? No, 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 I don't think so. No, I'd be quite happy. We might um, try, uh, try and have a, a crack at one or two of the autumn handicaps on the flat or something like that, if we've got a nice stick in the ground, I think. It's turning out to be quite a week, Willie. Many Fantastic. congratulations. Unbelievable. Thank you very much. Thank you. Subscribe to Racing TV's YouTube channel now to watch more great races like this.